Michael Avenatti, the attorney for porn actress Stormy Daniels who became a political celebrity and potential contender for the Democratic presidential nomination in 2020 has reportedly been arrested. He's accused of domestic violence against his estranged wife, Lisa Story Avenatti. TMZ, The Hollywood Reporter, KABC, The AP, and BuzzFeed News have all independently confirmed with Los Angeles Police Department sources that Avenatti was arrested on Wednesday on suspicion of felony domestic violence and is currently in police custody. The incident in question allegedly occurred on Tuesday, but TMZ provided a more detailed account of another incident the outlet said occurred on Wednesday. We're told during Wednesday's confrontation the woman ran out of the apartment building and was on the sidewalk on her cell phone with sunglasses covering her eyes, screaming on the phone, I can't believe you did this to me. We are told security brought her inside the building and Michael showed up five minutes later, ran into the building, chasing after her. He screamed repeatedly, she hit me first. We're told he angrily added, this is bulls this is effing bulls. While it attracted relatively little attention as Avenatti's star rose during 2018, Story Avenatti has made abuse allegations against her husband before. In court documents filed by Story Avenatti's attorneys and published by Fox News, she describes Michael Avenatti as emotionally abusive, describing one incident in detail, for example, on Sunday, December 17, 2017, I offered for him to be with redacted, Thayer Child for 9 o'clock a m to 7 p.m. with a nanny present. Petitioner took umbrage with the request for a nanny. On December 17, Petitioner showed up with his 15-year-old daughter, redacted, and demanded access to the house, Petitioner did not say whether he was interested in seeing redacted, their child. I had the nanny take redacted upstairs and went outside to talk to Petitioner. Petitioner immediately started yelling at me to let him into the house and started to videotape me with his phone. Petitioner also threatened me that he would be staying at the house every night in the coming week. I told Petitioner to stop making a scene and that he was scaring Redacted who was hiding behind a pillar. He said that Redacted was not scared and was there to be his witness. Petitioner continued to yell at me and at some point he must have called the police, who arrived. I heard Petitioner tell the police he wanted access to the house. The police declined Petitioner's request and later told me that this was going to be a nasty divorce. Fox News noted that Avenatti denied this allegation. Avenatti had a different recollection of the incident. He denied to Fox News that there was verbal abuse and said he never threatened to stay in the house against his wife's wishes, though he added that, if I did, that was my right under California law. He said the police were actually supportive of him, but stated they could not grant me access, but if I wanted to force access I could, because I had every right to the home. Avenatti became a national political figure by serving as Stormy Daniels' attorney as she revealed her alleged affair with Donald Trump and hush money payments made by Trump's lawyer Michael Cohen to the public. The scandal led to Cohen pleading guilty to eight different criminal charges in federal court. Avenatti also represented Julie Swetnick, who alleged that she saw now Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh engage in sexual misconduct at parties and he has openly explored the idea of running for president in 2020 as a Democrat, arguing that Democrats need a fighter who could take on Trump at his level. At the very least, Avenatti is similar to Trump in one important way, both have faced serious accusations of abuse against women 